Every year, literally thousands of tourists head off to France, Spain, Italy and Greece. But why? It's often said you don't know what's in your own backyard, unless you're Fred West. But here in Scotland, we have some of the finest culture and scenery in the world. You just have to come here and really open your eyes. Fucking hell. The majority of visitors to Scotland will arrive at one of the three major airports. Glasgow, Edinburgh or Prestwick Airport. Whichever airport you arrive at, you can be safe in the knowledge that Scotland has some of the most advanced anti-terror laws in Europe. We'll set about you. Edinburgh. The very best way to explore Edinburgh is by foot. As you casually wander the winding, cobbled streets, you may start to hear what sounds like someone fucking a cat. Relax. This is none other than the sound of Scotland's famous bagpipes. They may lack the craftsmanship of the violin, the finesse of the piano, or the sound of a musical instrument. But there's no doubt that no matter where you are in the world, when you hear that first note, it really does send a shiver down your spine. When it comes to shopping, Scotland has more big names than a Sri Lankan phone directory. Forget Rodeo Drive. Here in Edinburgh, you can find all the top designer houses. Of course, if you're feeling really adventurous, you can always get measured up for a more authentic Scottish look. Glasgow. You wouldn't think Glasgow was one of the top 10 holiday destinations in Europe. And you'd be right, but scratch beneath the surface and you'll find Glasgow has much of the same things you'll find abroad. Glasgow was recently voted Britain's friendliest city, and it's not difficult to see why. Step into any bar here in the lively East End and people will immediately want to know where you're from. But of course Glasgow and Edinburgh aren't the only two cities in Scotland. This is Dundee! Food and drink. Scottish food is quite literally to die for. Think of breakfast and you probably don't immediately think to have a giant scab or some chopped arsehole. But here in Scotland we actually have some of the most inventive dishes in the world. They say traditional cooking comes from the heart but here in Scotland it comes from the liver, lungs and eyelids as well all wrapped up in a sheep's stomach and boiled to perfection to create our national dish of haggis. It may sound disgusting, but just wait till you try it. Mmm! And don't think for a minute you can't also get a good range of international flavours here in Edinburgh. Spanish, Greek and Italian chip shops are to be found all over the city all offering that unique taste of the Mediterranean. That's right, salt. Recreation. Of course, after all that excitement, you might just want to sit back in a pub, relax, grab yourself a pint, and acquaint yourself with one of the locals. Hello, how are you? Where do you come from? Why, I'm from America. Wake up! If you can bear to tear yourself away from the atmosphere indoors, you might choose to step outside and partake in one of the fastest growing outdoor activities in Scotland. Smoking. How you doing guys? All right, all right, eh? Language. Gaelic is the traditional language here in Scotland, although it's rarely spoken outside of communities rife with incest. Most people speak the Queen's English, if that is, the Queen had a serious case of Tourette's. If a local does have problems understanding you, he may use one of the following phrases. What the fuck are you on about? What do you mean? What the fuck's all that about? What does that mean? Get to fuck! On this occasion, you might be better off asking somebody else. History. Most important of all to Scotland is its history. Here near Stirling, you can visit the Wallace Monument, a famous tribute to the warrior Scott, 
played by Jew-hating Mel Gibson in the film Braveheart. One of the most popular tactics of the Scots was to expose their bright red arses to the world, a tradition still kept to this day. To discover the real Scotland, you have to be prepared to venture off the beaten track. The Highlands offer some of the most remote and peaceful places on earth. So pack a warm sweater, pitch a tent, pour yourself a wee dram, and somewhere in these beautiful and mysterious lands, you'll find your own little slice of heaven. Cut. Has anyone got a fucking signal yet? This is ridiculous.